thank you for viewing my video today. Today's topic is going to be securing WordPress. And the first step I want to go over in securing WordPress is going to be staying up to date, keeping WordPress up to date, your plugins up to date, and your themes up to date. On this site, this is a new site that I'm putting up. This is the reason why I'm going to go to make this video now. And you can see that it's all fully up to date. But how do you get to that is the dashboard from your from the the dashboard when you first log in. You see right here. And if that's not down, you can be able to you can hover over it. But it's got to update. And you always got to make sure you apply the update. That's and if your Steven pl plugins don't work with the latest version of WordPress, then they're probably not secure to begin with. So if you upgrade your WordPress and you find your plugins or your themes not working, it's probably time to update them to find a new solution as well for security. Um, you need to create the custom security keys for your wp.php file. Your wp-config.php file. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'll include this link in my posting. But you can see that this link it automatically generates your new security keys that's going to go in your wp-config.php file. And you're just going to copy and paste them. And I've already got this wp-config file opened up. All right, here's where they go. I'm going to copy the new ones in there. You can do this in any code editor. You don't have to use Dreamweaver. It's just my preferred one. And I know the site looks horrible, but it's not done. But you can see it still works. Okay. So we changed our security keys. The next thing that we need to do is is protect our WP config big .php file even further. And how we're going to do that is we're going to go into the .ht access file. And that's in your root folder of your web domain. You see it's public.html and you've got .ht access file. Within it we're going to add in the following prefixes. I'm going to type them slow. We're going to go file wp-config.php close it Next line, let's flip it over a little bit. We'll put in order, allow, comma, deny. Look down. I'm going to get another deny from all. I'm going to close that out. Close this file. And that's going to take care of our WP config file. But also we need to secure the, the HT access file as well. And how we're going to do that is relatively the same. We're going to put in file dot ht access. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll close that. Drop it down. Order. Allow. Comma deny. Drop down. Deny from all, drop down, and close it. Flip this. Alright, we've got the HT access file secure and the WP key config file secure. We've also changed our security keys. And anytime you mess with the .ht access file, make sure everything still works. You can see everything still works. Uh, the next one I'm going to show you is this. It's going to be the hide your WordPress version. That way, if somebody's trying to hack into your site, they don't know what version of WordPress you have. In case the issue comes up earlier that I talked about about your themes, your plugins not working, and you can't upgrade, you don't want the hackers to know that you've got a lesser version of WordPress. So how we're going to do that is I'm going to go into our WP content folder in our side of our editor or FTP, whichever way you want to do it. 
we're going to go into our themes. And the theme I'm using on this one is authorize, authoritize. We're going to go in and find functions.php. Within it, we're going to add a line. Doesn't really matter where. We're going to put it up top. And what we're going to add is going to be remove underscore see, action parentheses or opening parentheses we're going to add our apostrophes and you can see Dreamweaver already added the closing one for me. I'm going to put WP underscore header. Getting out of, we got our, already got our closing apostrophe. That's all we need there. Comma. Another apostrophe. WP underscore generator. and then a call semicolon. Let's close it out. It's going to load that to me. And now the hackers can't see what version of WordPress we have. The next one is going to be on WordPress. You need to log into your WordPress dashboard, go into an install plugins, hit add new. From there, we're going to type in WordPress security scan. Come on, bear with me here. WP security scan, just like that, with the initials WP. We're going to go ahead and install that one. We're going to activate the plugin. We're going to go down here to WP security scanner. And we're going to see that it's got some suggestions for us. The first one being to change the table prefixes to WP from uh, WP underscore to something different. So, you can see that we click here to change that. We're going to go in here. Always do a backup first. We're going to change that to. I might have to change this after the video. <laughs> Let's just put Bob underscore. Try to start renaming. And you can see everything is successful. It's also helping some other features that can help you. It's got a scanner built into it, password tool, um, various other features in it. Very useful plugin to have installed. Another plugin that I've already got installed on this site because it's one of the first plugins I install is that it, it, what it does is it limits the number of failed login attempts and it's called Login Lockdown. I'm not going to spend much time on it, it's pretty basic and simple. It's just login lockdown. Um, don't use admin for the username. I set this one up using admin as the username. Well, no, I didn't on this one. But it, usually I do for a test site. But on this site, you can see that it's web tech. But you want to make sure that it don't say admin there. And if it does, you need to go ahead and change it change all your posts over to it and that's always something good and last but not least you always want to back up and the backup that I prefer is one called WPDB backup I'll show that to you <coughs> I'm going to install that one 
activate it. And it's going to be under the tool sum menu and back up. You can see where I changed the prefixes and the, the bob. And you've got the options to save to the server in its own folder, which you'd have to secure as well. Download it to your computer or email you a backup. You can have it scheduled for one hourly, twice daily. I usually do one a day. And I usually have them go to a server. So we're going to back up our website real quick. And this is definitely vital. I mean, if you do get hacked, at least you don't want to be a day behind. But I do appreciate you watching my video, and I hope it helps. And please remember, secure your WordPress site before it's too late.